Well, we don't really know, but if you look at the 41,000 average miss over the last six months for ADP and you add it into this, you get to about 170 some odd thousand, uh, which is approximately where the consensus forecast for private sector job growth creation is. And if you got that, that wouldn't be all that bad. The real question, as we talked about earlier, is whether you're going to see government payrolls subtract a whole lot from the total when we get to Friday. So it's hard to say whether this is a terrible number or not with 135,000 plus 41,000, you know, 176,000. You'd take that uh, in the overall economy. Where did the jobs hiring come from? This is interesting. In this report, majority of jobs in the small business sector. We haven't seen too much of that, and we do see a uh, divergence between what the ADP numbers tell us about small business and the NFIB numbers tell us about small business hiring. But you can see there that that's where most of the hiring came from. Interesting note, they also found that we lost 3,000 jobs in the goods producing manufacturing sector. Uh, they have consistently found problems in the manufacturing sector. They were ahead of the national numbers. In the last couple of national reports, we have seen declines in manufacturing. So this may not be a good harbinger there. And then when you look at the overall sectors, uh, you're going to see most of it in trade, transportation, and professional services. In the services sectors, construction, though, up by 5,000, that may reflect the increase that we're seeing in the home building activity and that could be good news so sort of a mixed picture from ADP this morning uh, the headline not so great but in the end it may not be that bad depends on how the government turns out on Friday